Good day and welcome to a short explanation of how to deal with the lack of multi-level lists in PowerPoint. So let's just show you what that means. The first thing is to know what a multi-level list is and, and it, all it is is a, uh, uh, a way to uh, indent bullets and have the bullet point change to a different graphic in a predictable way that repeats as you add more root bullets. So uh, we'll show you uh, the problem and then we will show you the two workarounds for it. So uh, this is PowerPoint and as you can see Let's go to Word first. So in Word, you can see that there's something here called multi-level lists, and that's multi-level lists here. And uh, this is customizing the ribbon, by the way. And uh, you can see that it's right here. That's multi-level lists. In PowerPoint, it's not there. It would be right here if it was, and it isn't. And you can also see right here, it isn't. It's just not there. You just get regular bullets here. So let's go to PowerPoint. We'll demonstrate the problem. So here I'm going to do uh, a bunch of A's, a bunch of B's, a bunch of C's, a bunch of D's. Just so you get an idea uh, what we're talking about. There we go. And now I want these to be bulleted and indented, so I'm going to left justify them. And then I'm going to make these all bullets. And normally what you would do is you would simply tab and tab and tab or use the indent and uh, these would change to different bullets. But they don't, which is really obnoxious. So how do you fix that? Well, uh, the two ways to do it are one, Click on the tab you want changed, change the bullet to whatever your heart desires. So here I'm going to change the bullet to that. Unfortunately, as you can see, it doesn't remember the pattern. So down here I need to do this manually, which is really not very nice. So that's one way to go. Uh, the next way to go is to simply copy paste from Word. So let's go into Word and we'll do the same thing. There we go. And I will do uh, uh, a multi-level list, and I will choose, let's go with this one first, and I will tab that in, and I will double tab that one in, and I will tab this one in, there we go. So say this is close to what I want, but I want to change that, uh, the numbers to arrows, to an arrowhead, so I'm just going to uh, select list, and I'm going to uh, select arrowhead from the drop down here as I've done, there we go. So that's what I want. Now, uh, if I copy that and I paste it into PowerPoint, it won't work the way you expect. So let's go into here and I'll paste it and you'll see it just changed the darn thing back. Not very good. So um, what you have to do is right click and instead of selecting just paste, uh, which, it, which will uh, absorb the destination theme, you want to paste with uh, keep source, source formatting. So let's do that. And there it is. And that is how you create multi-level lists in PowerPoint. If you have any questions about this, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.